All right, today's question, this guy says, is Veritas uh, 3379. If everything is going well, yes, why would I not? Why would I or anyone else have a drink? The problem is when the shit hits the fan, we look for an escape, a painkiller, a way to numb out. And yeah, I have to agree with that. There's definitely some truth in that, right? And when, uh, when the shit hits the fan, that's one of the reasons why I always drink. Them, as soon as the shit hit the fan, um, I wanted to, to get drunk. So it is where it is, isn't it? That's exactly what I used to do. The problem is that I think the more you do this, the more you live with your life with alcohol, the more you don't see this as a choice, the more it becomes, um, you know, drinking. For me, it's always an option, right? You always have a choice in this. Uh, even now, right? It's an option that's there. It's a choice that's there. It's a choice that's there. It's not an option, but it's a choice. Um, you know, and once you don't allow that as an option in your life anymore, it stops becoming a choice, at least for you. Um, you know, at least in your world, and that's what counts. I mean, there is no chance that I would ever drink alcohol, no matter what happened in my life. You know, it is what it is. Um, you know, I've gone through the worst possible things. I've gone through deaths uh, and grieving when I was drunk, and I've gone through deaths and grieving when um, I've been sober. And I can tell you, it was far um, easier. Is probably a wrong word to put on it. It was. It was a lot more manageable. I felt more in control of things. Um, I still went through a grieving process. Uh, actually, when I look back on the, the grieving processes that I was supposed to go on, it elongated the grieving processes when I was drinking. And you never really go into it because, you know, you're thinking in terms, you know, it's a wrong, it, it's, it's kind of a, um, what's the best way of putting this? I'm trying to think on my feet here with this, you know, where, where I was when, I mean, my wife died when I was, when I was drinking and I just fell into alcohol, uh, you know, in a big way, because that was what my, um, my go-to crutch was. That was my, my go-to solvent for everything was to, was to drink. Um, so you never really dealt with any issues. It, you know, I, I was more, you know, you're blaming yourself, you're blaming the things that you could have done, you're you're looking at regrets, you're looking at all this kind of stuff. And I'm not saying that that's not part of the process that you have to go through, but it's, um, it's, it's not a lot, you have to, I think it has to have some kind of a logic with it. Um, with alcohol, I find for myself that I didn't go through that, that logical kind of, um, that logical uh, process. You know, like I said, it's different for everyone, but I always found that as soon as when, whenever the shit hits the fan for me, um, and I tell you now, the shit doesn't hit the fan <laughs> quite as often as it did when I was drunk, because you feed into that, right? Um, you know, and I think you're wrong in the sense that it's not just when the shit hits the fan, right? You know, when the alcohol is a reaction to good or bad, to to fun, or you know, when things are fucked up in your life when it's raining or when it's sunny right it becomes a part and parcel of the way that you think it becomes part of the way that you spend your life you know so then you're stuck in the habit and you're just stuck revolving around this habit and when you're stuck in the life that you know that life that drinking life that's all you can see so it's the only fun that you hold on to. It's the only fun that you know. I don't know any other fun. I don't know any other way, or I didn't know any other way until I stopped drinking, or of having fun except going out and getting hammered, going out and getting drunk in a pub, because that's all I knew. How, how bad is that? And it's such a watered down version of fun. And I still look back on it as fun times in one way, and it shows you how much, um, how, how effective the programming was. You know, it, and this programming ju doesn't start when you start drinking. It starts well before that because alcohol is seen as a normal part of life. It's seen as a way to have fun. It's seen as a way to socialize and to relax, right? You know, so I look at it in another way as what a fucking waste of time my life was back then, you know, in comparison to what I do now. And you only see this really when you... Um, you know, I've, I've been alcohol free now for 
11 years and I can see how much I've done I did more in the first two years than I'd done in the rest of my life as a drinker because you're varied you're free from that box that you've trapped yourself into and once you get free of that then you know your your experiences of life expand you start to see more in life you start to experience more you start to um, dig into yourself more and that gives you I think much more freedom you know so it is what it is you always get to to choose your own sacrifice right um you're sacrificing yourself uh you know there's always going to be a sacrifice in life when you decide to stop drinking alcohol you've got to sacrifice that part of you that still wants to to stop drinking alcohol but it all comes down to choice right all right take care see you in the next one